Grandpa Newbie reporting for duty with the OG F-Tac Siege. The thing was a Gakamo machine in Modern Warfare 2 when the health was only 100. Now that it's 150, is it going to be as good in Modern Warfare 3? So let's look at the configuration we're going to use. I'm going to start with the 50 round drum. And the headshot damage 35, 24, 24 upper and lower torso. The upper leg's down to 22, so it's going to take Grandpa a bullet or two to gack the enemy. Let's take a look at the rate of fire though, 1,200 rounds per minute. The effective damage range is only 6.3 meters, and that's a composite with all the attachments that we've put on it. And the minimum damage range is 37.8. Grandpa expects to get a few long shots. Bullet velocity, not blinding, 451.9 meters per second. Let's take a look at the recoil control. Overall, not much recoil at all with this weapon. Now. If you put it akimbo, you're going to see a lot of recoil. Hip fire accuracy, 1.6 degrees per second. So hip fires are going to be a factor. The mobility is not great with this weapon, especially how we have it configured. Movement speed, only 3.6 meters per second. Crouch movement speed, which I don't worry about, but you might, is 1.5 meters per second. Sprint speed, only 5.4 meters per second. And ADS movement speed is kind of a glacial pace. It's more like a sniper at 2.8 meters per second. The ADS speed is horrible at 367 milliseconds. Reload quickness is okay at 3.3 seconds. We're going to load it up with 50 rounds. Empty though. Let's not let this thing get empty because it's 4.1 seconds. Sprint to fire speed is outstanding at 89 milliseconds. So we're going to be doing a lot of hip firing. And then Swap speed, we don't worry about. We have the grip gloves. So let's take a look at the rest of the configuration. The F-Tac Stead grip. And that helps us with the recoil. Even though we don't really need it, we had extra slots because we really couldn't fill this thing up. So we've made it even more accurate. The Siege wire stock. That hurts the max hip fire, but we're not going to be hip firing at long distances. We'll be hip firing at close distances because we're going to be rushing the enemy. Helps with the sprint speed. A lot of red there, but that red really doesn't make a big difference with this weapon except for the ADS speed. Sprint to fire, yes, 10% worse, but at 89 milliseconds, we had a little bit to give away. The Super TAC 6 barrel. It, it increases the effective damage range significantly and it really cripples the ADS speed, but we're not going to worry a whole lot about that because we plan on a lot of hip firing. Helps with the recoil at 10%. The movement speeds are further nerfed with this attachment and the hip fire spread men. That's what gets us down to 1.6 degrees per second. Finally, the Rebel XH underbarrel. That helps again with recoil and accuracy. Hurts the ADS speed, but as you can see, Grandpa decided to give away the ADS because he's planning on doing a lot of hip firing and it hurts the movement speed significantly. Now you can configure it differently if you'd like, but this was fairly successful for me. So let's take this beast onto the field of honor and see how it did for Grandpa and what it did to Grandpa's friendly enemies. All right, let's get into this. Free for all in Stash House. Oh, I hadn't moved yet. Always somebody in the corner there. And by the way, uh, Delta Captain Tommy will, will be doing a guest appearance after the F4 landing roll, if you want to stick and see him try out the siege. So, so far, so good. I mean, I'm behind a little bit. I was surprised that there wasn't more recoil. I don't know if I just seem to remember more recoil than was actually there. Also, the 50 round mag seemed to last longer than I recall uh, the mags. And maybe I just ran around in Modern Warfare 2 with a smaller mag. But I was able to control the recoil quite easily. Of course, I couldn't control when people were standing behind me, which happens a lot on Stash House. <laughs> Stepped on my proximity mine. Revenge is sweet. A dish served according to Grandpa, hot as can be. 
Don't worry about what Shakespeare said and try to serve revenge cold. We're going to heal, change out. You can see that. Yeah, it may have taken three seconds, but it didn't seem that long. Headshots are okay with this gun, but they're not ultra powerful like they are with some handguns. Is this a replacement weapon for an SMG? Yeah, maybe. Maybe it is. Because you do kill people quickly. Whoa, he spawned in front of poor old grandpa. And I had to take the opportunity to gack him. See, it shoots straight as an arrow. Now, I did team this weapon up. The primary in this build was the OG Fennec. So there are a lot of rounds flying in the air when I needed to switch out. No rest for the enemy. I've just taken the lead for the first time. And once Grandma has the lead, there's somebody's waiting on their waiting on their streak to come down from the sky, which isn't a good idea on Stash House. Oh, there's somebody over there. And I pull out the Fennec. Rather than take three seconds to change the magazine out. I didn't feel as fast with this weapon as I would with a normal handgun. And no wonder, because the movement speed is slower. There, we got to go with the Fennec again. We're out of bullets. It's a bit slower. And the ADS movement speed isn't great okay so there's a snickers win on the first time out grandpa's pretty happy happy enough that i think i'm gonna try it again because we got a another small map i mean we're in free for all just left that clip in to show and of course we get behind at the beginning which grandpa tends to do there's somebody shooting fire He's got fire rounds. He's shooting them at Grandpa. Ooh, there was somebody behind me. I'm sure he gacked me. Oh, that was a fortunate leap of the balcony. But you can see we're running around almost like, <laughs> almost like we have a sniper weapon. That guy spent the whole game there. And I had a hard time digging him out. You can see I'm not doing great at the beginning. I'm behind by six lives. But up close and personal... When you start to pull the trigger before you aim down sight, you're putting out a lot of rounds. Good old jump shot there in the corner. Digging that guy out of that balcony, that high, high ground. There's another hip shot. Whoop, 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 whoop. You got to shoot the shooter. You got to shoot a little bit higher. Uh, upper legs do almost no damage. I think these... Bullets will tickle the enemy to death if you just hit in the upper legs. Of course, good to shoot low when the enemy's laying down on the ground. So I'm working my way back. And you can see that even at distance, there's not really a lot of recoil. And that's to be... I got stuck here. That's to be expected. And by the way, this weapon shoots fine under underwater because... It's a pistol. There's another hip shot. Just putting out a lot of lead. And when you run out of lead, you can always just beat on someone. Like you caught them stealing chickens. So I enjoyed using the F-Tac Siege. I know that I had me gacked by it several times. And that's why I was anxious to give it another chance in Modern Warfare 3. There's a long shot, 21 meters, and hardly any recoil at all. Not like I remember. Comment below if you remember a lot of recoil for some reason with the F-TAC Siege in Modern Warfare 2. Another hip shot. Very accurate, less than 2 degrees per second on the hip. Grandpa's got a turret. Up by 2, of course I get gacked. Whenever I get a turret, I get gacked. Once again, Captain Tommy's going to be playing, but I'm going to be his co-pilot and speaking. So you get to listen to me again, or you can turn down the volume and watch the ballet of his movement. 
whatever that means. Yeah, I put out the turret. I always put a trophy system, though they're not as powerful as they used to be. There's somebody attempting to snipe me while somebody else puts bullets in Grandpa's ear. Have enough of a time hearing people without being shot in the ear. 27 years of flying fighters. Your hearing is already shot figuratively with not a literal bullet coming in your ear and so grandpa opened up a pretty good lead from being behind by a fair amount in this game to ahead by a comfortable three or four there's the the guy that liked the balcony up there and i get to 29 kills and i just can't find the 30th i ran and ran and got gacked a few times that should have been it right there but no but it's not a Snickers win, but it's a win nonetheless. All right, here's Captain Tommy. He gets a bit more excited in these because he really enjoys playing COD. And flying. He flies an Airbus, one of the big Airbus passenger jets. He just made Captain not long ago. He has that nice pulse shot for distance. And he's always on the move, too. There goes an iron back. Actually, I gave him the hint, stick the, stick the, stick the shock stick in that guy, and it'll slow him down. This map he was not a lot familiar with. So as every good co-pilot would do, I was kind of talking him around the map. But in terms of COD skill, he doesn't need my help. Decided to let iron back go and try to get a face-to-face -face meeting with him. There's Iron back again. And there he sticks him again and gacks him. Of course, also gets affected by his own shock stick, but it's okay if you gack somebody. He was trying to be pure to the to the FTAC siege. Though he did pull out the Fennec just for a moment. He never fired it. That I could recall. Oh. So he's down by one. But that's not going to last. He got a little ADS movement speed. Very little. There are sniper rifles that have better ADS movement speed than the f Cs. I just don't understand it unless they tried to make it less powerful. Otherwise, it would be overwhelming. If somebody could put out 20 rounds a second and move left to right like a rabbit, there's no way you, you could hit them. They would win every engagement. Can you imagine this thing with a 4.5 or 6 meters per second? ADS movement speed, it would be unstoppable. So Captain Tommy gets his lead, and then he's relentless. He kept trying to go behind the bar, I told him. Customers can't do that. And there he gets a cruise missile, which I changed to cruise missile from the Mosquito drone, and then I switched it back because the cruise missile to me in free-for-all just takes too long and Every time that I got it Saturday and Sunday I Never got double kills with it because two enemies weren't standing close enough But they have like I said um, They've increased the radio the blast radius on it. So it does do more damage than it did last season. So Captain Tommy is cruising at altitude here. Just gacking everything that, that runs past. He takes it as an affront when somebody gacks him. And he goes back and tries to find him to return the favor. Ooh. That was a beautiful shot over the head glitch.
I don't think this would think this would be good in free for all with a 20 round mag. Though we considered going with a smaller mag, we did rule out that possibility because we were just putting so many bullets out. We'd be constantly changing mags. And if you look at the time it takes to change out a smaller mag, it's not appreciably different. There he is, Paulson again, donating the shock stick. And person is not friendly. They close the door on him. A guy had been camping along the edge, frustrating him. He's built up a five kill lead. And like I said, he is relentless in maintaining that lead. He's a decent COD player. There he is attempting to do some ADS movement speed, but it doesn't go very far with this weapon. And a nice double kill. Uh, yeah, it was moving pretty quickly, but he couldn't get out of the way, like I said, of 20 rounds per second. You got to run faster than that to outrun a bullet. He's closing in on that magic 30 gack number. Sees a potential victim, the guy that was constantly camping in the back. And there he pulses his way. I imagine that person was AFK, one more kill. And this one is in the history books for Captain Tommy. And there it is. What, just a, a fantastic demonstration, and he is happy of the FTAC siege. Hey, please, if you like this, comment on how you like the siege if you've used it in Modern Warfare 3. And like and subscribe. Cheers and peace to you.